YouTube and Karan from India and in this video I'm going to take a little challenge of 10 minutes to make to set up a simple GUI on the CMD console so let's see if we can achieve the simple GUI on the CMD console within 10 minutes so for that purpose I have I have created a simple folder set up simple GUI and I have already executed the stopwatch by Cutter Surya so all we need to do is just grab some plugins so I will not start clock right now let me grab some plugins first so let me go into my desktop and then grab the menu bar function 2.0 uh, let's copy the file leave the test file and create a new folder here named as files and now I need to grab the button function 2.0 so I don't see button function here let me close this folder and go to the www.thebatim.org as you have noticed that change the layout of the website as it is a lot simpler now to see and execute things inside the website so let me grab we'll talk about the website in the next video so let me grab the button function yeah we I have already searched it button function so let's press enter and you will see the button function 1 and button function 2 We'll, we'll need button function 2 so let me open that and go to the end where you can see the download links just simply grab the button function and close that so it seems like my internet is too slow that's why I didn't start the clock because it needs some time to code so let me download the button function as it is downloaded so let me start the clock around and let me show in folder come on and leave the test file and other files so I think we have these functions here there copy that minimize it minimize that and try to place that let me decide yeah let bad box be this yeah it doesn't matter and now Let's create a new file, simple text document, and name it as simple GUI dot bat. Oops, dot not dot bay dot bat. One minute is over, so let me code it in Sublime Text Editor. Let me expand it so you can also see things. I'm increasing the font size. So let me write some formal lines. Simple GUI test within 10 minutes. And for setting up simple GUI, as a simple GUI contains a menu bar and few buttons, so I will only do these two things. And these two will have mouse edge over enabled. So let me first generate a menu bar. So we already have the that file from that file. Let me get some code, so it will save some time.
as you will see here i will grab this code copy it you can see all the shortcuts here paste it here so as we have called the menu bar function from the file let me change the directory first change directory file or files yeah it is files change directory to files <coughs> excuse me then call the menu bar and it will create the same menu bar and now before calling the getLearn function get input function we need to call the button function too button function call button and the syntax for button function is you just I have very lucky memory so I just need to recall how my own button function works so as you can say, see it is given item 1, item 2, item 3 and one item is short for x, y, color and button text so in the end we have to provide x and then we can get the code for the button so now as now I have remembered so call it I want to print the first button at let's say 5 comma 5 now let me print it in the middle of the console so let me resize the console first uh, 80 comma 25 the standard C CMD size the first button should be at 30 and then its height should be 11 then the color of the button should be F0 oh, let me show you the clock along with the coding so it's almost 5 minutes are over so I'm quite slow the button text should be button 1 and let me copy it paste it again so the x only x will change I'm going to change it to 50 and it is button 2 and you can make as many button as you want so I'm going to stop here and let me show you button box boxes and button hover or edge over so now just write here box and then simply write here oops button edge button boxes and let's everything will be 70 after checking the menu bar click if it doesn't make sense that it is the menu bar is clicked so we need to check if the button is clicked so checking for the button is just as standard if slash i i am comparing comparing the strings here so i use slash i so it's almost six minutes are going to over so let's do it quickly without expl explaining things and if so before the error level get lost so i will i will make a variable out of it if selection is equal to so we need to remove all these boxes before that this box this box contains the code for that those menu options so i need to check how many menu options are there that i have coded for so let the file let me see the file first the database file so one two three four five six menu options are there so what i need to do is i need to simply here I need to set slash a selection minus equal to 6 so I have to deduct 6 out of the selection variable if now the first first button is clicked e title button 1 clicked and then and 
time out for uh, let's say one second and let me copy it for the second button and after that i'm going to change the title back to normal which is simple gui within 10 minutes so go to mouse again i've saved it so i think we have achieved it in 7 minutes so let's try it and now let me stop the clock and you can see we have achieved the simple gui within inside the cmd within seven, approximate 8 minutes so the simple gui affects that you can hide this blinking cursor because it annoys you, the output and you can see the mouse over is enabled all over the console so you can either select a button or click on the menu bar so let, let me first click on the menu option and as you can see there are four options let me select my brother's name namesh as a fourth option so it should print on the title bar it should not print one cross four so i have not told it to print anything so let i think we didn't achieve it so let me again start the clock we will add eight minutes so we, i think we have two minutes now yep yeah we need to go to loop again so here should be the loop and here should be the CLS so we need to do everything again to remove the error and I think after checking the menu bar click it should also print the values Let me change title here to percentage menu option percentage cross percentage menu sub, sub menu options percentage okay then let me remove this code and uh, oops and put it here so I'm going to pause it for one second no matter I'm going to pause the loop no matter what happens so as you will select file and select the open so it is not printing the thing let me click the button function so it is creating the loop fast so we have achieved the GUI but it's not it, there must be some bug so we have achieved our goal of achieving the simple GUI on the console but working of the GUI is a different different thing so let me stop the clock now and I think we have achieved it within 10 minutes that's what I think so what do you think comment in the below section so I think there should be some mistakes by me I'll be back but while I I'll found the mistake. So let me check. Uh, it is clearing the screen every time, so I don't want to clean the screen. Just want to pause here. It must work fine. Yeah, I finally found the error. I have written team out out of instead of time out. So 
so i just don't want to write the time out command now so let me check check it again so this is the final view and button 1 is clicked button 2 is clicked file option 1 cross 3 uh, i forgot the cls again so clear the screen is important file namesh and 1 cross 4 button 1 is clicked button 2 is clicked tools help about us 6 cross 2 so you can see that the simple GUI is working so you can adjust the locations of these buttons by changing the coordinates so that's all for now I hope you like this video and if you like these 10 minute challenges please feel free to comment about them because I will start making more of them and if you have any other challenge in your mind that you want to see in the CMD console please comment about it and I will I will try to make a video on it and if you want some basic CMD things to also get tutorial so I can make tutorial on the basic CMD concepts and the basic mistakes that most of the batch programmers do so feel free to comment and give me some suggestions about what on the next topic of the videos so thanks for watching please subscribe please share this video with your friends and thanks for watching see you soon bye bye